Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Jamie in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you how I transformed my old entertainment center um, I gave it like a little makeover I was back and forth if I should just get rid of it and get a new one I even like had it on sale for a little bit I painted other furniture around the house and I'm like I can totally tackle this so I went to go ahead and did it and it didn't cost me a lot I will be sharing everything I used down below so if you want to see how I transformed my entertainment center then just keep on watching so here is my next project I have been wanting to paint this entertainment center for like two years I decided to just keep it and give it a little makeover um so the little uh, chalk paint cans are 20 bucks for a little can. So since it's a big entertainment center, I figured that I would first prime it because I have a big can of primer right there. Um, prime the whole thing first and then go in with the chalk paint so I don't have to buy like too much chalk paint and hopefully I'll just need like three cans. I already had this on hand, It's the can is almost full. So I'm just gonna go in with this because um, like I said, um, the chalk paint isn't like super cheap. So I'm gonna go in with this first and then I'll go in with the linen white chalk paint and the aged gray to get it to how I want it to look. And for today, I'm gonna just do, since it's big entertainment center, I'm only gonna do like this section right here, since it's like three piece entertainment center, I'm only gonna do this whole section right here. And then, I don't know, I'm just gonna like spruce it up. I think it'll look very pretty.
I'm adding literally a tiny bit of the white now and just kind of like just brushing it on to where I feel like it needs more white. Okay, so it is the next day and I got so much done yesterday, more than I thought I would. Um, and I love it, it looks so pretty. So again, I ended up doing the primer on this side, which by the way guys, you don't have to do it because there were some areas where I was like, let me just put some of the chalk paint and it, it looked just as good. But um, I just wanted to make this side the same as this side. So I ended up doing um, the primer first, but I think back here, I'm just gonna go ahead and with the um, chalk paint itself, I have paint, so that's what I plan on doing. Okay, so you saw the overview of what it looks like. And then um, here's a close up. I kind of um, went back in here with the gray and the white um, chalk paint just to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And at the very end, like the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, like this section. I have like a smaller brush and I'm going to do this closer to the glass at the very end. And I'm also going to do the bottom at the very end as well. Because this thing is so heavy, I might have to just put tape down or hopefully we can actually move this thing. We'll see. Um, that's what that looks like. I love the brush that I used. I'll link it for you as well. It's for chalk paint, so it doesn't leave like streaks. Like there's no streaks whatsoever. Like if you don't want to sand this, you don't have to. Like it looks so nice. And then um, I love that. So you see it could still have to kind of like go in here, but there's no right or wrong way. You know, you can go in with the white or the gray and it looks just fine. So that's what that looks like. Um, in here, um, that's what that looks like. I took off the glass shelves. Probably still need another coat in there. And then here's what the doors look like. I didn't add white yet. Um, it's a close up of what it looks like. This still needs another coat. And then that. So here is the entertainment center. 
I am loving how this is turning out. So let me just go over real quick um, what I have done and why it still looks like this. Certain areas are not finished yet. So what I did is I did um, one coat of primer on this side and on this side. Then I realized that honestly, I didn't really need the primer. I had enough paint. So in the whole middle section here, I didn't do primer. I just went straight in with the gray and I did three coats of paint. So you really do need three coats. If your furniture is dark, you will definitely need three coats of paint. Um, so this is all done. That's all done. I have to finish this area tonight. I have to like unplug everything. So all I have to do is just paint those two shelves in there and then like the walls there, but that's, that'll be quick. I'll do that tonight. I'll show you the technique that I do to give it the, the like weathered look. So this was a set that I got and don't worry, I'll link both of these below. So this is like perfect for like to get into like the small corners and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> So what I do is, let's just say, like this little area, I feel like that might have too much white, right? Like I went in there with too much white. And again, there's no right or wrong way. Do as much as white or, or gray as you would like. Um, it's your preference, whatever you want more to, like to pop and stuff like that. So I just put a little bit on my brush, a little bit of the gray paint in my brush, and I'm gonna go back in and kind of just, do you see, I barely put paint on it. Kind of just do a couple like brush strokes like this and just cover a little bit of the white there. Do you see how that looks? Now it's wet, it'll dry and it'll look like this pretty gray hair. So something like this. So that's how you do that, okay? I do like the amount of white that I put here so I'm not gonna touch that. Like this little corner here, right here the camera is getting that. I feel like there's too much white right here. So I'm gonna go in with the gray again. So I'm gonna go back in here again and just lightly brush this, okay? Again, you cannot mess this up because if you put too much gray, go back in with white, you know? But you'll get the hang of it, okay? Yeah. That looks better. And then um, I like the white, the amount of white there, so. Um, I'm gonna let that dry and then wherever you see like oh you know like this little area looks I don't know I'll put more gray or more white and until it looks nice literally it's like you have to just keep playing with it until it turns out how you like it to um, look so okay so like this little area right here I feel like there's too much white going on there so again a little bit of gray and I'm literally gonna just lightly go over that, like this, lightly. And that's it, that's all you do. And you, yeah honey, give me a second. And you just keep doing this until it's how you want it to be, with the gray or the white. So I'm gonna let that dry and hopefully that looks nice too. And that's it. Okay, so here is the finished product. I absolutely love how it turned out. This is exactly the look I was going for. I just love this look. 
I love the white and the gray. It is perfect. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. My family room is just so nice and bright now. I mean, it was nice and bright with all the windows, but I feel like the entertainment center, since it was dark wood, it wasn't like giving the light I wanted. And this is exactly what I wanted for my entertainment center, just nice and bright. And I mean, basically it matches with like the rest of my house. And we also ended up getting a bigger TV. We moved the TV we had here upstairs to our bedroom. And oh my gosh, I just love how it looks in the entertainment center. It is so nice. So again, I just want to go over a couple of things. Um, it did take me, I believe it was like three or four days to finish the whole thing. I also noticed that like after I was done with it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I noticed there's maybe like more white on this side or like, you know, or more gray or whatever. And like I'm a perfectionist, so I would go back in with the gray, let's say, or whatever it was that I felt like it needed more of. So again, you cannot like mess this up. There isn't a right or wrong. You can use as much uh, white or gray as you would like. And again, even after you're finished, you're like, oh my gosh, I noticed like this spot or something. Like you'll go back in and like fix it or whatever. Um, but again, like I'll just sit here and I'm like, even right now looking at it with the camera, you know, I'm like, let's see, is there anything else that I need to fix or anything like that? But overall, I love it. I think it is beautiful. It looks like a brand new piece. This thing was like 15 years old, so I am so happy with it. I hope that you guys can do something like this. Whatever piece of furniture that you have in your home that you want to give a little makeover to. Um, and here we, the kids just have like puzzles. And as you can see, we have like puzzles there, like game boards. Um, but it is just so pretty. I'm going to come up close so you can see. Um, let's see, we can, yeah, I just love the gray with the white. Um, it looks so pretty. I also do want to change the knobs, but I'm going to wait till Home Goods or Marshalls opens back up because there I have seen like really nice handles. Um, and I'll update that on my Instagram. So make sure you're following Lifestyle by Jamie. I do definitely want to change the knobs and let's see here let's see what that's what that looks like I love it and then that's what that looks like I kept going back in here like a few times until I got it how I wanted it but I love it it is just so nice and bright in here. It matches all my home decor. I hope this motivates you guys to do something like this in your home. Don't get rid of your old furniture. Give it a nice refresh, a little nice makeover, and make it new again. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, my loves, so that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye beauties.